In my vlog yesterday, we talked about travel insurance. That is one hurdle that people who are required to get travel insurance have to face. Who are required? Foreigners. Foreigners are required to have travel insurance. That includes COVID-19 coverage, up to $35,000 in coverage for the duration of your stay. That is what the law says. And foreigner includes those former Filipinos who became U.S. citizens and therefore now they are foreigner. So they'll go back to the Philippines as a balik bayan thinking, oh, I'm Filipino, so I'm not required. No. The only people who are exempt from this requirement are those who stayed being a Filipino citizen. One. Number two, those who became a foreign citizen, U.S. or other country, and then got back and recaptured their citizenship by filing for dual citizenship. So, original Filipino citizens and those who became dual citizens. Those are the only the exempt. All real foreigners and all former Filipinos who now are no longer Filipinos are required to have insurance. So this is a dilemma. I have a tip for you on how to fix this. That's what we'll talk about. Stay with me. The first thing I have to explain is this requirement of travel insurance. For most Americans or yeah, even Americans and former Filipinos who became Americans, you're covered by your, with some exceptions though, okay? You're covered by your medical insurance in the United States. Depending on whether you have supplemental or advantage, and even if you have advantage, you have to check your policy, you may be covered for a certain period of time. Supplemental usually have a limited time of 60 days or 90 days. So for 60 days or 90 days while you are away from the country, you may be covered. I said may. You have to check your policy. For Advantage plan, it's way longer than that. In fact, you can be almost away for one year and you will be covered. Again, check your policy because not all policy are the same. So you have real insurance. The only thing is, you will need to pay first, usually, before you get reimbursed. It's not like in the U.S. You go see a doctor, you check in the hospital, you show them the ID, and you don't have to pay a penny except for the deductibles and such. Uh-uh. That's not how it works in the Philippines. Maybe with very, very few exceptions, because I heard some viewers who said, no, they, the insurance company paid them directly, there are some policies, they're all different. They're all different. So don't ask me what is your policy. You have to dig your own policy. Now, because we have insurance, how come we have to buy travel insurance? That's the issue. This Philippine government mandates this thing and the airlines, the people on the front desk when you're checking in, by the way, they're the only ones. So as far as I know, they're the ones checking it out. Once you get to the Philippines, you go through immigration. They're not checking it out. Again, if anybody here experiences something different, if you, if, if you see an immigration officer in the Philippines asking for travel insurance, please let me know. Let the viewers know for their own information. Okay? Because there is some risk to what I will be talking about. So... If you're not one of those guys who do not have a policy yet, it may be good for you to have a policy in just in case you get sick in the Philippines because what are you going to do? Either you go bankrupt, you die because you cannot check in at the hospital because you don't have any money, or you get yourself travel insurance. So you might as well get travel insurance. Now for those people who already are protected by their own policy, but you just need to satisfy the Philippine requirement. Here's the tip. 
One tip, of course, is for you to get from your U.S. insurance company a letter specifying coverage for COVID-19 and for an amount more than or greater than, because it usually is greater, greater than 35000 And according to Philippine Airlines, they will accept that. So I'm sure other airlines will accept that as well. Now, but what if you cannot get that letter? For the most part, insurance companies won't issue that letter with few exceptions. What are you going to do? Well, one viewer of mine sent me a link. They said, hey, here are cheap policies. And I looked at it and I saw one for $25. Guess what? My only motivation here is to get a policy I can show when I check in. And I don't care for insurance coverage once I'm in the Philippines because I already have my own policy, right? That applies to most people. Unfortunately, today when I checked out the site, prices are higher. I don't know what happened. But still, there is a way to do it. Let me show you. This is the website that was sent to me by that viewer. By the way, thank you very much for sending this link. And let's take a look at it. Let's say, get codes. Let's try to fill this out. You're going to the Philippines. Let's say traveler one, 72 years old, just for example, United States citizen, let's say, or you can put Philippine citizen, residence is United States. And let's say, let's just say I'm going for 30 days, so from March 15 to April 14th. So that's for 30 days. So you say get coats. Now, if, you, if you're younger, it's less expensive, but go ahead and go to the site and look at it yourself for you to be informed. Okay, it says it includes 19, COVID-19 coverage. And let me see, what is the coverage? Coverage limit is $50,000, so that meets the $35,000 requirement, right? Deductible is $250, $359. Well, one way, that's expensive. One way you can do it is... Go for $5,000 deductible because, again, you don't care for the insurance. You have your own insurance to take care of you. So you say, ah, I don't care. I'll get the highest because, look, it came down to 215 So these are the variables. You can reduce this if, they, if you have a choice. Well, the only choice is 100 So we'll go for 50000 So the cost to you will be $215 for 30 days. That's expensive, right? But then if you scroll down, look. This one is only $81.30 and it has only $200 deductible. You have no choice. It's either $100 or $200. So you say $200. $81.30. So let's focus on that. I think this is the lowest one I got. Let me see. one seven seven three zero one two zero one two nineteen two zero eight. 201 So Now, this is what I noticed. Cancelable. Let's see what it says. Policyholders can request for a cancellation through the customer portal. A $25 cancellation fee may be applicable depending on the policy terms and conditions. Please review the policy document and wording for exclusions and limitations. I want to alert you. This is what you need to see. Don't listen to what I say. Look at the policy you are buying. Okay? Please review policy document and wording for exclusions and limitations. Although here it says $25, the policy you ultimately buy may not be $25 cancellation. I think you know now where I'm headed, right? Okay. So this is what I did. I cannot look at the policy. This is all I'm seeing here. And uh, I decided I'm going to call the agent. So there is the phone number of the licensed insurance specialist one eight six six three eight four nine one oh four so i would encourage you to call this phone number and speak to a live agent now i'm going to let you hear the conversation i had with the agent here goes i have a question and i'm hoping you can help me out sure. okay uh, I'm going to the Philippines, and Philippines require travel insurance uh, that will cover, these are the requirements, okay, that will cover 
COVID-19 hospitalization if necessary and uh, a minimum of $35,000 coverage. Okay? Now, I am not really interested in insurance because I have a, a, an Advantage plan that, that covers me worldwide, much more than what they require. The only problem is my insurance will not give me a letter saying I'm covered for COVID-19 and the $35,000 limit required by the Philippines. So I'm looking for a piece of paper just to present at the airline uh, uh, that will cost me the minimum amount of money. But it should show I'm covered for COVID-19 and 35000 minimum. So it could be 100000 but minimum is 35000 So I'm looking for the cheapest. I'm just looking for a piece of paper. The least expensive. So the lowest policy that we that we offer uh, may be able to meet the requirements. I just need a couple of details to make sure that the policy is suitable for you. What would be your age and your country of citizenship? Uh, Seventy-two, and I'm a dual citizen. So whichever is cheaper, I'm a U.S. citizen and I'm also a Philippine citizen. Okay. And what are your travel dates, please? Uh, let's say uh, March 15 to April 15, 30 days. Okay. Or if that's so too March much. March 15? Yeah, March 15. It would be 32 days. Okay, so make it uh, uh, 13. Okay. April 13. You reside in the U.S., correct? I reside in the U.S. Okay. What state, please? Pennsylvania. All right, so a suitable option would be a plan called Visitor Secure. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to offer all of the policies, the lowest they offer would be $50,000 in coverage. Right. So this is a limited plan, meaning it's going to cover you for any uh, new injuries or illnesses, mm -hmm. including COVID, at a limited amount per incident. Mm -hmm. And so if you were to select $50,000 coverage limit with a deductible of $200, is there a higher economical option? Is there a higher deductible? Because mm -hmm. the higher the deductible, the lower. Okay, fine. So, okay. So the most economical option would be visitor secure, and this plan for 30 days would be $81.30. and thirty cents. Eighty-one dollars and thirty cents. Now, is that cancelable? So the plan is fully cancelable if you cancel before the start date. Okay. And so if you cancel after the start date, and there are no claims on file. Mm hmm. In this policy, there would be a cancellation fee of $25, and no. then there would be a prorated refund issued if any refund is available after the $25 cancellation. Okay, so let's say that is a 81, let's call it $80 for 30 days. Uh, if I cancel, let's say, uh, in um, one fourth of that, let's say uh, uh, seven days. Uh, so about three quarters of that eighty-one dollars will be uh, will be refunded minus the twenty-five dollar fee cancellation fee. Is that what right. you're saying? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's really good. Now, as you can see, the strategy we need to do is this: go through this just to give you a preliminary reading on what is the best policy for you. Then call that toll-free number. Explain to them what I just said to her, which, which is, I just need a piece of paper that says I have medical insurance coverage that's for, for COVID-19, that will include COVID-19, and for minimum of 35000 You don't care how good the insurance company is. You don't care. If they are very receptive in processing their claims because when you get sick or if you get sick in the Philippines, you are covered by your medical and you will take care of it at that point. You just need a piece of paper. One viewer said to me, what do you think? I think I could create or we could create some kind of a letter coming from the insurance company and presenting that just to fool them. And I said, well, it's an idea, but I will never recommend such a step. That is, to me, illegal. Now, what I recommend to you is partially illegal too, but why don't you buy a policy? 30 days. Now, you're risking because the policy says for the duration of your stay. Okay? For the duration of your stay. Now, 
just by 30 days. And the lowest quote I got is what, about $90, $80-$90. And then, as soon as you reach the Philippines, you got to the immigration and all that, you rest, you settle down, call or communicate with the insurance company. By the way, that's one thing I forgot to ask her. How do I cancel? Do I need to be in person? If that's the case, you have a problem, right? But I don't think so. But find out if there is an email and can I cancel it by email or do you need to sign a piece of paper canceling it and then faxing it to them or emailing it to them? Find out what the procedure is for the cancellation because that is what you are going to do. So let's say the uh, premium is $90, okay, $90. And then let's say after two days you decided to cancel. So you have 28 days unused, okay? So you divide this by 30 days, multiply by 28, that means you're entitled to $84 refund. Then you will sub subtract the fee, cancellation fee of $25, so you'll get back 59. So if you paid 90, and you get back 59, how much did you pay? In effect, you only paid $31. And it got you through the Philippines, meeting their requirement. Now, the reason I'm saying this is, yeah, yeah it's, it's true, it's sort of partially illegal, because you actually need that policy for the duration of, of your stay according to the requirement. And in this case, you'll only covered for two days, but you're covered anyway. You have your own insurance, okay? So it doesn't matter. Is it illegal? Technically, yes. Practically speaking, no, because you will not rely on the Philippine government. And the reason I'm saying you can do this is if you are, if you are extending your tourist visa, I understand Philippine government does not require you to have insurance. So let's say you went in, you had 30-day visa, and you had 30-day policy, Travel, travel insurance policy, so you're good, right? You're clean. After 30 days, you decided you'll stay another 60 days. They're not asking for it. At that point, you don't have one. That is the reason why I say this is cleaner. They want to play the game? Play the game. Play the game. This may be less of a headache than doing something else that is different, like faking a document, creating a document as if you have coverage. So, this is what I wanted to share with you. I hate to do it, to it, do it this way for the Philippines, but sometimes you have to play the game that they are playing. Give me your comments down below. But I want to alert you again or warn you again. If you really need insurance, you do not have insurance, buy insurance. Otherwise, you, Philippines is not like the United States. You are going to die unless you have the cash to pay for your hospitalization. So it's a good idea to get a policy. This is only if you already have a policy and you're just duplicating it just to meet the Philippine requirement. Okay, thank you so much. Please do share this with others because this seems to be a popular topic everybody is struggling with. And this is a solution I found, uh, even though I did not find a $25 policy that I found earlier, this is a way to do it. Take advantage of the cancellation and please, do read the policy before you buy it. Make sure you have it in writing and know the procedure for canceling so that you'll be able to do it. Thank you very much for watching. Please do share this with other people who might benefit from this video. And I'll appreciate it if you click like and do subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so. Thank you. Make it a great day and God bless.